Hey guys, welcome back. So I just want to start off this video with a huge, huge thank you to every single person who watched my latest video. If you watched it or if you commented on it or even if you just gave it a thumbs up, seriously from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. I was going through all the comments and like literally sitting down and reading them and I just had a huge smile on my face. It was really hard for me to like open up and talk about something like that online, but I am so, so thankful that I did. Like, I just, I'm so happy that the community that I have on YouTube, that the supporters that I have, the friends that I have are just so nice. And seriously, like, not a single bad comment was said. So many people could understand and relate. And for that, I'm just, I'm grateful for you guys so much. Now, I am a little bit sick. I haven't been vlogging at all for the past couple of days. Um, if you watch Omar's channel, you can kind of tell, but I was dying, absolutely dying for the past couple of days. My mom thinks that I have bronchitis. Um, I went to like a walk-in clinic in Walgreens and I saw the nurse practitioner. She said I was fine. She gave me like some medicine and stuff. So I'm feeling a little bit better, but not 100%. But for this video, I wanted to cover something really fast because I keep getting questions on like Instagram and Snapchat and YouTube as far as like, what are you doing when it comes to fitness? Are you bulking right now? Are you cutting? Are you just maintaining? Like, what are your goals? Things like that. And I realized that I haven't talked about that whatsoever. Um, basically since the move so I'm gonna kind of like backtrack back in time um, the last winter I went in a bulk I believe it lasted about five months and it was very very successful and then after that I went into a cut and I actually made a video talking about like why this cut is better than any other I'm gonna link it down below it did really good a lot of people watched it and I just kind of explained like my mindset and um, how I was like a lot more flexible with myself and my goals and why I was actually able to reach my goals So I went from the end of my bulk I was like 135 pounds and I'm 5'5 by the way and then I went all the way down to 120 pounds And then if you guys remember in like early June Omar and I started talking about the move and we took a trip here to California I think it was like June 7th or 10th. God, my memory is so bad with like dates and stuff, so don't quote me on that. But I think it was like early June. We took a trip here to California and I was still cutting right before that. I wasn't like completely done, but we were here in California and like we just decided, you know, we're gonna enjoy ourselves. Like we're not gonna worry about macros and workouts and like we're not prepping for a competition or anything like that. So we just said, screw it. And we just kind of like ate everything, tried all the good California food. And then we got back home and that's kind of when we decided that yes, we're gonna make this move happen. We literally fell in love with California. You guys have saw it, you saw it all. So um, we decided that we're gonna make this move happen 100% and once we made that decision, to be completely honest, like, you know, I was transferring schools and stuff and um, we were trying to find an apartment and we were spending time with our family and friends and we were going to our favorite restaurants in Chicago just like, you know, one last time and stuff. So cutting and macros and workouts and just all that stuff kind of took like a back seat in my life. And then I believe like two to three weeks before the move happened, I mentioned that I was putting the cut on hold, that I didn't want to worry about it, but I said that I was putting it on hold for only a couple of weeks, for like the first two to three weeks of the move because the move was going to be super stressful and I didn't want to worry about macros and tracking and you know, cardio, things like that. Like I just had a lot of other things to focus on. So I made that video talking about that. And then we moved here. And as expected, you know, my parents were here. We went out to eat a lot, a lot. You guys saw those vlogs. We were just like exploring California and you know, we weren't really working out or anything like that. With that being said, I know that I said that, you know, I was going to get back on the cut. I wanted to kind of like push myself just a little bit more to see like where I can take my body. And that didn't necessarily happen. So after my parents left, after we got a little bit like settled in, um, we just had like so much exploring left to do like we didn't see enough with when my parents were here and in the first couple of weeks of the move because we were so worried with the move so we were just like, kind of started exploring California and if you've been watching my vlogs you've seen we've been going out to eat all the time um, we did get a gold gym membership so like we are going to the gym and stuff but basically long story short I did not resume the cut at all um, I've been pretty much in a surplus since like early June since like that one trip to California and um, Although it wasn't planned, you know, that's just my life fitness enhances my life in a better way It makes me feel good. I love going to the gym, but I don't let it like stress me out So, you know, even though I had something planned and it kind of went a different direction like that's life, you know, that's okay so that's basically where I'm at right now. I've been in surplus 110% since like June, definitely, because I know I've put on some weight and that's okay. I feel great, I look great, like 
I feel good at like where I'm at right now. Um, I'm weighing in at about 126 to 128 pounds, just kind of depends. I don't weigh myself all the time, I just kind of weigh myself whenever I feel like it. And um, that's basically where I'm at right now. I just wanted to update you guys and I'm going to talk about like what I want as far as like the next couple of months. So my birthday is on January 6th and I've just kind of decided that I'm not 100% like cutting, I'm not, you know, going to stop eating out or anything like that. But I do want to like reel things in a little bit for the next couple of months. Um, I want to add a little bit more cardio in because I've been lacking. Like I've been on a stair master on level 7 and I'm like running out of breath. So that's not good. Basically, I just want to become a bit more healthier and stop eating out as much at the restaurants that are like, you know, super deep fried foods, ice cream and french fries, and you guys have seen it all. Now I do practice flexible dieting. If I want something, I'm going to eat it. Um, but I just want to kind of start making healthier choices and just kind of take things in a bit more before I go into like a complete structured bulk. And I do want to go on a, on a structured bulk, I think, in December. But before that, I just want to feel comfortable um, starting like a structured bulk and um, just kind of know like where I'm at as far as macros go because to be honest, I haven't really been tracking macros. I've just been eating intuitively, but I know that I've been eating, you know, in a surplus because if you've been tracking for a while, you just kind of know. I'm not saying that, like, I don't feel good about myself because I do. If you guys follow me on social media, like, Snapchat or Instagram and stuff, like, I feel good, I feel strong, I'm killing my workouts, but basically I just want to have a bit more structure back in my life. In the process, I'm guessing that the scale will go down a little bit, and then um, once I'm ready to start the official bulk in December, I will have like a good starting point. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, I just wanted to talk about it and explain myself and explain kind of like where I've been with fitness in the past couple of months. And like I said, sometimes things don't go as planned and that's okay. Always remember that fitness is supposed to enhance your life for the better. It's not supposed to stress you out. If tracking macros, for example, stresses you out, then don't track macros, it's not for everyone. If lifting stresses you out, then don't lift because once again, it's not for everyone. Find what works for you and what works for you at a certain time of your life. So this is what's been working for me for the past couple of months. And now I just kind of want to switch things up a bit and have a little bit more structure back in my life. And that's it. So um, that's my update for you guys. I want to continue vlogging for today. This might be a very long video, but that's okay. Um, today I'm meeting one of my friends from Ukraine. I can't believe it. Like I went to school with her from first grade to fourth grade and she's here in California in Los Angeles. So I'm going to be meeting her and some of her friends. I'm so excited. I'm actually like nervous because I literally haven't seen her in years, but we were like really good friends and she found me on Instagram and stuff. So I'm very excited for today and that's about it. I got legs. Oh, I wanted to show you guys this um, thing that I ordered. I don't know where it is. I think it might be in the bathroom. Hold on. All right, so as most of you guys know, I am like deathly allergic to our cat Grizzy. We got him like two months ago and I've had awful, awful allergies. I've had like nosebleeds and I'm constantly sneezing. My eyes are like super red and bloodshot and it's just like, it's been horrible. I've tried all the different allergy pills that basically exist. We've tried giving him like baths and stuff and nothing has been working. Um, and I've genuinely been very worried because it's like my quality of life has basically gone down since we got him. Even though I love him with all my heart, that sounds so bad, but I don't mean it like that. I just mean that like health-wise, I've been feeling so awful. And we have officially found a solution, you guys. Alright, so this right here is called Ellerpet. And it's for cat dander remover. Pretty much what people are actually allergic to is not the cat's fur. It's their like saliva in their mouth, as far as I understand. So when they lick themselves, they like secrete some sort of protein. And that's where our bodies can't, or like some, some people's bodies can't necessarily deal with. So what this does is it kills that protein. So you basically wash them with this, uh, or not wash them with this. You like rub it on them um, once a week and it the protein on their skin and by the way it's hundred percent safe for cats it's non irritating non toxic reduces cat dander in the home and scientifically proven results and I'm talking from experience you guys we did this to him yesterday and I've been like kissing him and hugging him and he like slept next to my face and I feel perfectly normal besides for the fact that I'm sick but like I don't have you know like the itchy eyes the itchy nose the sneezing all that stuff and that feels so good I ordered this off of Amazon um, so if any of you guys are allergic to cats, definitely check this out. I think I'm going to order like 10 more bottles because it's great. You basically do it like once or twice a week and that's it. I think someone recommended this to me on my channel. So many people recommended like different things, but someone recommended this and I like looked into it and 
whoever you are, you just literally like saved my life, so thank you. <laughs> but um, if you are allergic to cats, definitely check into this. So now I think we're gonna make some food and head on over to the gym, get a workout in, and then meet up with my friends. So we've just finished a really good workout. I'm on a hill, I'm not really this short, but um, how was your workout? Uh, it was iffy, but we got it done. Mine was really, really good. I can already tell like my legs are so sore, but we're gonna go home, change, shower, and then our friends are gonna come here and then we're gonna drive them to the Hollywood Hills. I'm really excited to show them like how close we can actually get to the Hollywood sign because I remember the first time we got, like we went up there, I was so impressed. I didn't know you could get that close. And then we're going to Almaza, which is always great. Sure. Love Almaza. So continue with this vlog as we go on. Also, it's like really, really nice in LA right now. 6 p.m., super hot out. Not a single cloud in the sky. Beautiful beautiful it doesn't feel like fall and I love it all right so we just changed and I have a long sleeve on plus my Zara jeans basically the only jeans that I own and these white shoes I think I got them from Zara as well also can we just like take a moment like how cute is he he's just enjoying life staring out the window it's great you guys so it is now Sunday and I know that last night I basically left you off like right before we met up with my friends um, it was such a good night we went to the Hollywood Hills we went to La Maza, we got dinner we talked we like reminisced on the past um, this is the person I went to school with from first grade to fourth grade so I haven't seen her in like literally 10 years it was crazy um, but I had such a good time but honestly I like didn't bring my camera I just decided that you know I wanted to have this memory in my head versus like on camera I hope you guys can understand that but it was such a good time did you have fun? I had an awesome time when I went to Almaz. Yeah, I went to Almaz. It's, it's always a good time when you go to Almaz. But um, right now, Omar and I are actually having like a date night because we really didn't do much today. Like in the morning, we went to do some cardio at our apartment gym, but other than that, we really haven't done much. Um, so right now, we're heading off to Manhattan Beach, which is the only time we've ever been there is when my parents were here. It was like the first time they went to visit, and it was like the first beach we went to. It was beautiful. They have like shopping centers and restaurants and stuff. So I think we're gonna grab some dinner. I'm kind of craving pizza really, really bad. Like this is very new to me. I don't ever crave pizza. It's like the last thing I ever crave, but you know, I think Omar's getting me hooked on it, so it's like his favorite food. But I figured that I'd bring you guys along with us, and um, it's very late, so we're not like swimming or anything. We're just gonna spend the day there, shop, walk around, and have a nice evening, have some food. What are you craving, pizza? He'll never say no to pizza. I'm, I'm craving like a very light cheese, thin crust, with lots of like flavor, like veggies, and what's that one thing that they put on pizza? It's like green. Uh, spinach? No, 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 no. Um, I forgot the name of it. I don't remember. But it's very uh, good. It has like a lot of flavor. Starts with an A. No. Uh, yeah, Ark uh, something. Artichoke? No. No. Um, oh. Now it's going to piss me off. I think it starts with a P. No. Okay, anyway, if we remember, I'll let you guys know. Arugula. Arugula! Yes, you got it! <laughs> 